Ladies and gentlemen, live from Shadow Mountain Community Church in El Cajon, California, the Cathedral. Bless you. Oh, we're glad to be at Shadow Mountain. Praise <laughs> God, yeah. Do that comfort to know. In a world of doubt and confusion, it's a blessed comfort to know that somebody bigger than you and I knows every valley we travel below. And when our burdens get heavy, there's one who shares our load. I'll say it again, there's no greater friend than the Lord. He's a comfort to know. Well, the Lord is a comfort to know. With the love he loves to bestow. I may be walking through an unkind world, but he's everywhere I go. And when this life is over at last, I'll ask him in heaven's sweet glow. So when your life's gone to pieces, just call on Jesus. He's a wonderful comfort to know. Oh, Roger, you play it good. Old Peter found a comfort in Jesus when they put him in the inner cell. But somebody prayed at a neighbor's house, and old Peter was freed, so the Bible tells. There's Paul and John and Stephen, all trusted in him, we're told. And even as they died, they testified that the Lord is a comfort to know. Well, the Lord is a comfort to know, with the love he loves to be so. I may be walking through an unkind world, but he leads everywhere I go. And when this life is over at last, I'll bask in the heavens be glow. So when your life's gone to pieces, just call on Jesus. He's the wonderful comfort to know. Well, the Lord is a comfort to know. With the love he loves to be so. I may be walking through an unkind world, but he leads everywhere I go. When this life is over at last, I'll bask in the heavens be glow. So when your life's gone to pieces, just call on Jesus. He's the wonderful We are so thrilled to be back at Shadow Mountain Community Church, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming tonight. And we are so thrilled to be doing this video here. And we're, uh, we're probably through somewhere around uh, 12, 30, 1 o'clock tonight. So... <laughs> yeah. You know, that, that, that's a new song. Uh, and, and the boys allowed me to sing that, that first verse. That, and, and I just soon hear me sing as anybody I ever heard. <laughs> Give me my key there. I wasn't through, you know. That song said, Old Peter found comfort in Jesus when they put him in the inner cell. But somebody prayed at a neighbor's house, and old Peter was freed, so the Bible tells. And there's Paul and John and Stephen. They all trusted in the Lord, we're told. And even as they died, they testified that the Lord is a comfort to know. What a comforter he is. Old Peter found a comfort in Jesus when they put him in the inner cell. But somebody prayed at a neighbor's house, and old Peter was freed, so the Bible tells. There's Paul and John and Stephen, all trusted in him, we're told. And even as they died, they testified that the Lord is a comfort to know. Well, the Lord is a comfort to know, with the love he loves to be so. I may be walking through an unkind world, but he leads everywhere I go. And when this life is over at last, I'll ask in the heavens we glow. So when your life's gone to pieces, just call on Jesus. He's the wonderful comfort to know. Well, the Lord is a comfort to know. With the love he loves to bestow. I may be walking through an unkind world, but it leads everywhere I go. When this life is over at last, I'll ask in the heavens we glow. So when your life's gone to pieces, just call on Jesus. He's the wonderful comfort. Give me a, 
it's, it's going to be a little bit different tonight. Let me, let me, uh, fact, let me introduce him before the, the night gets too long here tonight. <laughs> we usually feature him early in case he faints or goes to sleep, you know. <laughs> Are you glad to see Glenn Payne tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Help him back up. <laughs> Glenn's wife walked in the house the other day and she said, Honey, I think there's water in the carburetor. And Glenn said, water in the carburetor. said, you don't know the carburetor from the steering wheel. I said, where's the car? She said, in the swimming pool. <laughs> I love old people. I really do. <laughs> he told me on, on this trip, he told me, he said, George, I don't talk back to my wife anymore. He said, right after we was first married, I raked her over the coals good one day. I told her what was what. He said, I didn't see her for about two weeks. Then I got to where I could see a little out of his left eye. <laughs> Doctor, they said, they said he walked, uh, his little, his little uh, granddaughter crawled on his lap right before we left this, on his trip, and she was rubbing his cheek. <laughs> Marla was rubbing Glenn's cheek, and she said, Grandpa, did God make you? And she said, he sure did, honey. He said, she rubbed her own little cheek, and she said, did God make me, Grandpa? And she said, she sure did, honey. And she was rubbing her cheek, and she said, God's doing a better job than he used to, ain't he? <laughs> you know, I'm... Let me, let me let you listen to Glenn Payne sing a brand new song. Now, Glenn sings the fast songs, and, and the, and, but this song here, when we heard it, we said this has to be Glenn Payne's song. A brand new song says, High and Lift It Up.
keep it up. I can't thank uh, this church and uh, this wonderful pastor. A few years ago, God allowed our paths to cross with uh, Brother Jeremiah. And, uh, what, what a wonderful friend he's been. And uh, uh, God knows just exactly who to send your way uh, to, to, to be your friend. And I'm, it wasn't no accident that our paths crossed. Thank you, sir, for your friendship. Thank you for opening the doors of this church and uh, making us feel so... We liable to move to El Cajon, California. <laughs> yeah. let, me, let me do this. Uh, Terry Franklin of the, of the Gaither Vocal Band wrote this song, brought it to us. And, and this is a song that I'm not really too sure of this song myself. Uh, it's a good song. We haven't sung it much. There's one good thing about singing bass. If you forget the words, you can just boom, boom. It don't make no difference. <laughs> so, so here's a new song. Terry Franklin wrote called Every Day, Every Hour. <laughs> you, you're going to hurt yourself. You keep it. Every day, every hour, every minute. Right down to the second His love, it stays with me everywhere I go. Oh, you sing it, boy. Every day, yeah. every hour, every minute. Right down to the second His love, it stays with me everywhere I go. Every day, every day, every hour, every hour, every minute. Right down to the second His love, it stays with me everywhere I go. Mm, every day, every day, every hour, every hour, every minute, every minute. Right down to the second His love, it stays with me everywhere I go. On the mountain, on the mountain, in the light of His love, in the valley. When I need help from above Morning, noon, or evening In the middle of the night He lets me know that everything goes right Every day, every hour Every minute, every minute Right down to the second His love is stays with me Everywhere I go Check him after them fast songs. Glenn, Glenn went to the doctor the other day and, and went for his checkup, but he told the doctor that his wife was hard of hearing. <laughs> the doctor said, well, find out how bad she is before you bring her in. Glenn said, what do you mean? He said, well, like stand on one side of the room and ask her something and keep getting closer till you hear her answer. <laughs> he went home. She was on the other side of the kitchen cooking dinner. He stopped at the kitchen door and said, dinner about ready, honey? He didn't hear nothing. <laughs> He got right in the center of the kitchen and said, 
dinner about ready, honey? And he still didn't hear nothing. He got right up behind her and said, dinner about ready, honey? She wheeled around and said, for the third time, yes. What did he say? <laughs> the, other, the other day she come in, she said, honey, I, I got some good news, I got some bad news. He said, it, it sounds like it's bad news. I've had a bad day. If it's bad news, I don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear a word of it. If it's bad news, just save it. Don't, I don't want to hear it. I've had a bad day. Don't want to hear no bad news. <laughs> she thought a minute and she said, well, you know that new car we got? The airbags work. <laughs> I love old people. I really do. <laughs> you know what? Let, let, me, let me introduce this young man over here. Ernie Haas joined us about four years. You glad to see Ernie Haas? The uh, Bible speaks about two kinds of death. There's the physical and then there's the spiritual death. And I'm glad for me that the sting of death has been plucked. I may die, this body may decay, and I have an appointment with, with death. But the spiritual death, the sting has been plucked. And victory over the grave has won forever and ever because He lives. And because He lives, we too shall rule and reign with him because death has died.
song, Ernie. Great song, Ernie. Here's Joel Hempo's latest effort at songwriting. It says, I'd like to say it again. I'd like to say it again. Jesus' blood has cleansed me from sin. I know it's been said many times before, but I'd like to say it again. I'd like to say it again. Yeah. Jesus' blood has cleansed me from sin. Leave me alone. I know it's been said many times before, but I'd like to say it again. It's been talked about and it's been sung about down through history. There's power in the blood of the Lamb who died to set men free. The greatest story that's ever been told, God's great gift to man this I've been washed in this precious blood And I want to say it again I'd like to say it again Jesus' blood has cleansed me from sin Over and over and over I know it's been said many times before But I'd like to say it again Yes, I would I'd like to say it again Jesus' blood has cleansed me from sin I know it's been said many times before But I'd like to say it again There's a healing balm in Gilead It is the crimson flow Coming down from God Coming down from Calvary Washes whiter than snow Washes whiter than snow Sinner, if you will come to the Lord He will save you from sin He will save you from sin It will bring you joy like you never know You want to say it again I'd like to say it again. Amen. Jesus' blood has cleansed me from sin. I know it's been said many times before, but I'd like to say it again. I'd like to say it again. Jesus' blood has cleansed me from sin. I know it's been said many times before, but I'd like to say it again. I know it's been said many times before, but I'd like to say it again. I'd like to say it again. I'd like to say it again. Glenn's wife bought a parrot about three years ago, and Glenn hates that bird. Nobody don't know why, but Glenn hates that bird. <laughs> she said she went shopping the other day and left Glenn home with the bird, and she'd come back, and didn't, Glenn didn't hear her come in the living room. And she, he was bent over the cage talking to the bird, so Van slipped up behind Glenn to see what he was saying, and Glenn was teaching the bird to say, Here, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> But, but she, she, she has taught the bird to say, who is it? All the bird can say is, who is it? Who, all day long, who is it? <laughs> so the other day she had to go to the beauty parlor. She said, Glenn, I'm going to the beauty parlor. The plumber's coming to fix the sink. The stink stopped up. Run to the store and get a loaf of bread before the plumber gets here. 
Well, she took off. Glenn took off. But he didn't beat the plumber back. The plumber walked up on the porch and knocked on the door, and the parrot said, Who is it? <laughs> he said, It's the plumber. And the parrot said, Who is it? <laughs> he said, It's the plumber. The parrot said, Who is it? <laughs> He was the elderly gentleman, his blood pressure jumped up. He said, it's a plumber. And the parrot said, who is it? <laughs> he got so mad, he just fainted right there at the door. <laughs> Glenn walked up on the porch and saw him later, and Glenn said, oh, my land, who is it? And the parrot said, it's a plumber. <laughs> Bless his heart, he's fun to be around when he's awake. I was, I was going to introduce Scott Fowler to sing, sing a song for you. When, when, when I heard this song, I said, this has to be. Scott sings the fast songs, the slow songs, and the, the middle tempo songs. He's just a, he's just a, he's a cute little thing, ain't he? <laughs> Here's Scott Fowler to sing, Come Home. precious blood you tasted of his goodness and his love he showered you with blessings he's building you a home but somehow on your journey you're standing all alone You've wandered far from homeland Down paths so dark and cold In search of all the treasures you could hold Your freedom bought you bondage Rebellion bought you fear But Jesus stands behind you and homeland is so near Come home Your Father really loves you Come home It's where you want to be It's a place of peace and comfort a shelter from the storm Don't wait another moment Come home Remember how it used to be When fellowship was sweet the time well spent in worship at his feet. You know it doesn't really matter how long you've been away. Just let his spirit cleanse you and be restored.
Here is Roger Bennett say, Bell of Joy. Keep ringing. Pick it up a little bit, do it a little bit faster, pick it up a little faster. music lovers. My next song will be a little number I learned years ago. I was just a boy, and I remember thinking one day that probably I'd... One day I'd stand at one... No. No next number. While we're kind of featuring Roger here, I like the way it's turning out now, George. <laughs> I don't like to cry, but I will if I have to. So. <laughs> Roger, you killed me. You know what? Now, I'm really, let, let me throw a curve uh, at, at you and, 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 and Scott. We were in Bossier City, Louisiana, here a while back. And I walked, remember when I walked in the auditorium and you were sitting at the piano just fooling around with Roger uh, uh, playing? I didn't know you knew a chord. I don't. I think I know it if it's not a good idea, but I, I want you to do something. Would you do that? Take your bass off. I'll play. No, no, don't, 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 <laughs> hey, don't give it to him. He'll, he'll, he'll hurt himself. <laughs> what, what was it you were doing? Uh, keep on the fire. Keep on the fire. It's keep on the foreign line. Boy, you don't know how to talk. It's keep on the foreign line. <laughs> but uh, when I walked in that day, you was playing on the, on the uh, hey, hey, look at me while I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. <laughs> play on, when you play on the high end there a while, now I know you, you, you don't play the piano and you're going to prove it right now. No. <laughs> but when you play on the high end a while, uh, jump up and run around to the low end, let Roger slide up to the high end. Now this, this will be a good arrangement if you both just pay attention to me now. Keep on the far in line. Would you just quit and play the piano?
months ago, I, I walk about 45 minutes every day, and I started by walk up in Maryland, wasn't it, Roger? And right before I started, Roger handed me a cassette and said, listen to this as you walk. Well, Mark Lowry, uh, who sings with the Gaither Vocal Band, his mom had written a song and, and brought it to us. She didn't take it to the Gaithers. I guess she knew they couldn't sing it. <laughs> Bill, Bill's not watching this video here. But... Uh, uh, I started my walk and I, I played through and, and I backed it up and played it again, backed it up and played it again, backed it up. And for 45 minutes, uh, I walked and listened to that song. How it tore me up, bless my heart. I was walking, tears just streaming down my face. I'm sure a lot of people passed me and said, if walking hurts that old man so bad, if I only quit, you know. <laughs> well, but they didn't know that I was getting blessed. One day I came to Jesus and asked for water, and he gave me water that I'd never dreamed of. Here's a song, not a, not a fast song, don't have a high ending, but the, the song tears me up. It says, I thirst. <laughs>
there's a lady come tonight, and uh, boys, we hadn't sung this in about a year. And she came tonight, and she, <laughs> she, she asked us to do holy, holy, holy. Well, let her do it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you. Bless, bless his heart, he woke up again. Can I tell you one other thing? <laughs> I gotta tell you this. You shared but, enough already. They, my daddy would come to me and say, You wanna go hear Glenn sing, George? I'd say, Yeah, Dad, let's go. <laughs> All night long he's made fun of me being old. <laughs> I want you to listen to this. God said, Let there be light, and George flipped the switch. Oh, Glenn. I love old people, I really do. <laughs> they ask us to, uh, you know, the, the acapella things are so hard to, to get into. Uh, they're not the easiest thing. Larry Goss had a wonderful arrangement on this. Uh, Roger, give us the key. Scott, you count it down so we can start together, okay? Bennett's latest effort at songwriting, uh, Jesus Saves.
The church has been silent while the world raised its voice. In loud and angry tones they took the lead. But all across creation there's a rumbling in the hills as the chosen ones of God stand up to make his message known. I'm gonna shout it from the housetops, proclaim it from the mountaintops. Proclaim the Savior's might, but the Spirit of the Lord said they should wait. You see, God knew his children were ready to march on and proclaim his word throughout the land and seal the devil's fate. But the world still tells us daily that God is not alive. Salvation's plan is just a fairy tale. That Jesus died for you And the world says his returning Could happen any day I've got to shout it from the housetops Proclaim it from the mountaintops Tell the world around me Jesus says I have made my choice I'm gonna make the joy for the Lord you listen as Glenn sings a brand new song at the name of Jesus at the name of Jesus the name of Jesus since chains are broken the
Elvis. Now he shall return <laughs> some glad Shall bow to the power in his name. At the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, since she. This is Diane Wilkerson's latest ever songwriting. It says, Jesus is risen. Listen. Rose 